Now you're a big proponent of the vulnerability coordination maturity model. What exactly is that model? I created this model after observing organizations over 20 plus years in cybersecurity and seeing what are the characteristics of these organizations that make them the most successful when it comes to setting up vulnerability disclosure programs. And that's really what the maturity model is all about a baseline assessment of where you are, what your capabilities are. And then from there, you can do a reasonable roadmap to improve your capabilities to be able to respond to these vulnerability reports from helpful hackers. Let's take a look at bug bounties. What would a perfect bug bounty program look like for, say, a large organization like Facebook? They really need to look at their goals. And a company like Facebook, for example, which is actually a client of Muta Security, um, we helped evolve their programs because they had well-functioning bug bounty programs, but they wanted to add sort of this whistleblower component. Um, Facebook wanted to expand its bug bounty scope to include whistleblowers who can inform on data abuse. And that's just one element of a bug bounty program evolving, particular for the needs of a large platform, in this case, Facebook. A bug bounty is really, it's kind of like a small part of your balanced security breakfast, right? It is only one of the efforts that you need to be putting forward. The majority of your effort actually should be internal and that relying on a bug bounty to identify your holes is really an inefficient strategy for success. And that's where I see, I think, a lot of governments, large organizations getting on the bug bounty train and thinking that it's perfectly logical. Well, it is, as long as you've done your due diligence internally first. So how can organizations foster mutually beneficial relationships with white hat hackers? Um, all relationships do well with mutual respect. So respecting that hacker's time in notifying you about a vulnerability, not threatening legal action, uh, those are great places to start. But really, the ultimate respect is taking action on their report and fixing that bug. The reasonable amount of time is the minimum time it takes to thoroughly investigate an issue and come up with a comprehensive fix. If you half investigate the issue and you get the root cause wrong and you come up with a partial fix, you may have put users at greater risk by releasing that improper fix than you would have by taking just a little longer to fully test your, your issues. Machine learning is becoming much more prevalent in cybersecurity. What role do you see it playing in actually identifying vulnerabilities? Obviously, a machine can find flaws a lot quicker than a human can. However, you still have to have that back end to be able to process the results and fix them. You know, the complex interplay that we can expect from artificial intelligence in security are ones where if done on the offense side alone, you'll overwhelm the existing human defenders. If done on both sides, you risk application compatibility issues that a machine might not really understand in terms of human use cases.